Okay, uh, this is practice example two. I uh, wanted to go through and show you how this is built in IronCAD. Uh, this is one example, of course, multiple ways to build this. Um, fairly interesting part, basically just <clears throat> a couple, uh, basically a block here as a base, uh, has a block uh, vertical for this height, then some cylinders on top of that for that shape, and then a slot through the, the middle, and then a uh, cut coming through like a slide cut here through through the bottom. So not too difficult uh, to build an iron cat. So I'll build, build this using innovative design. Uh, of course, you can build this any way you like, but I'll go ahead and show you how this is built in iron cat. So <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the base block. I'm going to drop that out. And some of the dimensions on this thing is basically the overall length of this guy is uh, 118. So we'll go ahead and set that at 118 uh, outside of that. Uh, the width of this guy is 54, so we just uh, right-click, drag one of these handles, and symmetrically change it to 54 inside of there. And the height of this is 16, so we'll go ahead and set that to 16 for the height. So that gives us our base for the shape. Next, we're going to drop our, uh, our our next uh, shape. was really just a, a block shape out here, so you can drop it anywhere on here. So I'm just going to drop it. Uh, on the center so that I know I'm centered and I'm just going to snap this to the side uh, again right click uh, shift snap to the side here and then set this out uh, this is basically 27 and a half so we're going to set that to 27.5 inside of there and the center point is actually from the bottom to here to where the cylinders are so I'm going to select this top handle and basically tell it, tell it to edit a distance from point. I'm going to hit the bottom edge here. So that gives us the ability to set that distance from the bottom to 42. So again, so if we want to measure that just to show, that should be 42 right there. Okay. So that just gives you an example how to, to do that. Next, we can put the cylinder on here. So again, we just drop our cylinder on here. And we can reverse this. You can just right click and click uh, reverse or flip extrude uh, in this case. And then we're going to snap that back side of that edge grab the outer handle and snap to there to basically give us our overall shape here. Again, so that's, uh, it should be 27 and a half uh, is actually the radius. So we actually got this wrong. So I set this wrong here. So this is actually, uh, should be uh, 27.5 times two. So I got that wrong there. So let's move this over uh, to be correct. So let's fix this here. My mistake. I want to make sure I got the right dimensions on this thing. There we go. So there now, if we set that, the radius on that will be that 27 and a half. Okay. Uh, so now we've got that uh, outer shape inside of there. Now we just got to draw a uh, you know, our cylinders here. Uh, inside of this are our through through cylinders. So let's actually draw the through cut right on the center point, and the diameter of that guy. Uh, for the inside hole, and let me see which one that is, is 30. We type 30 for that one. And then it's going to actually have a, another uh, cut here. So I'm just going to drag and drop on the edge with the shift key, snap that in the center. And that outer diameter is 38. And it's going to be 30 again. And it's going to be a depth of four. So that's basically, oops, wrong one. So we want to set that depth of four. And that's 38. So 38 and 4 for that. So that gives us our, our shape there for the counter bore. And we can take our tri ball, move it over to the center here by hitting the shift key. So we can snap that on the edge there. And then we can just right click, mirror, link to the other side. So now we have that on both sides. And the last, there's a, a cut here. So this um, shape in between these two uh, is basically uh, there's 14 millimeters on each side of this thing. So if we drop a cut here, we can just basically drop an extrude cut on this face here. And we're just going to basically, again, shift, snap to this outside here. And we know this is actually 54 minus 14 on each each side, so that's 28. So we're going to subtract 28 from that. And now we can just pull this through, snap this up to our bottom, and pull this up to the top. So that gives us our, our shape uh, for those cylinders. So that's just one way to create this. I mean, you could build this all with uh, other extrudes and things like that, but that's just one way to do it. Uh, next, I'm just going to drop out a cut slot here. And some of the information is that the end of this thing is going to be nine millimeters from this and it's 99 uh, millimeters long. So we're just going to select the, the distance on this is 99. And then we can actually just put a smart dimension while we got that feature highlighted. We can just select from there to here, set that to 
nine to position that. And this, of course, is going all the way through, so we can pull it all the way through or just snap to the bottom to get that shape. So that's the simple slot for us is actually really easy to do inside of there. All right, so now we've got uh, the basis for this thing. We want to draw this next shape here, so which is a cut to the bottom. And to me, uh, the easiest way to do this is actually just draw, uh, drop an extrude on here. Again, I drop it on the center inside of here so we know the, the height of this. I'm just going to snap this up so we can just easily do this. The height of this uh, cut is 8 inside of here, so we can set that to 8. And the width of this is actually 22, so we can go ahead and grab these here. And just, you know, I'm just doing symmetrically right-click dragging, setting that to 22 to set that. And then we can just pull that through. So that's going to go all the way through. And now what they've done is actually tapered these two edges here. So we can go ahead and actually edit the cross section of this guy. So we have this inside of here. So we can select on this. We have our curve dimensions in here. So this is actually at a 60 degrees. So that's going to add uh, another 30 to that. So it's 120 for that one. This one is actually going to be 60 in there. So there we go. So that's our shape. We just quickly change those over there. And that will give us our slot uh, cutting through there. So that's that simple shape. The last thing we need to do is add some blends to this. So they have some blends on here. So we have radiuses here that are set to 12. So we'll just select these two and hold the blend command. And we're set that to 12 for the radius. And apply those. And then it has uh, uh, six. Um, uh, a radius of six on these outer edges here. So you can set one here. And this is going to be six for that. And we're going to set one here for that. And now this is interesting. So in their model, they're not actually going along this entire edge. And by default, we have smoothly connected edges on. So you don't want to have that on because if you select this edge, it's going to select that entire uh, shape there. So we're going to turn that off. And we're actually going to select just that edge because that's all they're having uh, to blend on this. So just blending that one particular edge on this particular model, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but we can do that too. So we just apply that there. And that will give us our blend shape inside there. So that's basically the overall shape of this. So you have, you know, the counter bore in, in there uh, for the shape. Again, that's got a, you know, a 30 uh, millimeter, uh, or sorry, 38 on the south side, four inch depth for that. So you can see that's four. This is a 30 uh, a diameter through hole for that. So that's kind of the, the basis for all the shape inside of here. Um, let me make sure I've got everything covered. Yeah, so that's 55 from here to here. It's 55. So, yep, so that should cover everything inside of there. And then last, they always ask for the um, the weight of this thing. So, again, you go to the park properties, put the material. And they give you a mass density for this guy, 2700 for the aluminum alloy. So we'll go ahead and put that 2700 in there and hit OK. And then just need you select on your part, go to properties, and that will give you your mass inside of there. So that's a simple way to build this in ArcCAD, which is kind of unique. I think if you saw this built in other systems, they would probably do a lot more sketch planes to create this. But in ArcCAD, it's pretty much all drag and drop to do this and then just adding some of the sketch planes for basically adding those angles on that. You could also do a taper if you wanted to um, on the, the sides of that shape to achieve it as well. So that's uh, the shape in a nutshell. So hopefully you guys like how that was built.